My name is Frank Thomas, and I wrote the book, The American Dream 2.0, A Christian Way Out of the Great Recession. And in this book, I make what some believe is a really uh, controversial statement, that what I say is that the treatment of Jeremiah Wright uh, after the in the year 2008, that whole media-created fiasco around Jeremiah Wright and Barack Obama, you, you know what I'm talking about, that in that, that Jeremiah Wright was treated by the media the very same way that Martin Luther King was treated. And many people are not familiar with this. This is why you should get the book and read it. Because in 1967, Dr. King came out with a, a, a speech called um, Beyond Vietnam. We took a position against the Vietnam War. After that speech, he was castigated, called un-American, treated exactly as Jeremiah Wright was treated. Now, my argument is that when you critique the structural values of America, you see, what the Jeremiah suggest is that there are no structural value problems in the nation. The only issue in the nation is that we have not lived up to our ideals. And if we would live up to our, our ideals, then uh, we'd be fine. But Jeremiah Wright and subsequently Martin Luther King said, uh-uh, the ideals are flawed. That what we have is American militarism, American materialism, and American racism that are operating in a collective that makes Vietnam necessary. So in Vietnam, it's a demonstration of American racism, American militarism, and American materialism. And so when you critique American at the structural level, which is pretty close to what, what Jeremiah Wright did, to critique America at the level of its structural values, then the American nation hears you as a threat, and it treats you just the Jeremiah, it castigates you, it calls you a traitor, it calls you, you know, a, a, a simple-minded preacher who is just after his own good, a, a race monger, all of these names, etc. Dr. King was treated the very same way. Get the book. It's a whole chapter on it. You can read it. A chapter on Jeremiah Wright, two chapters on Dr. Martin Luther King, and you will see my argument. I'm looking forward to hearing from you.